everyone. Welcome to the SEO Vault. I'm Chaz, joined by Mike. Um, SEO Vault, every Thursday at 4 p.m., we go live on the Web20 Ranker Facebook page. We also uh, put it in the local SEO community Facebook group. So Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, make sure you join us. Everybody that's tuning in today, thanks for tuning in. We have some really cool... Uh, SEO updates and some news Mike's going to co cover. Then we have some uh, questions from the group that we're going to answer. Um, SEO Vault, though, it's your one-stop shop to stay up to date on SEO every week. Uh, we, we tell you just what's happening in the industry, uh, no fluff, and then we have a little bit of commentary about the group. Um, but welcome, everybody. Mike, how are you doing? Doing good. Coming to you live from my back porch here because of a hectic morning. So your, I haven't made it. Your video is not yet. working. <laughs> my audio isn't. Oh, your, your audio is. Your video is off. There you go. Okay. There we go. It. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Again. So coming to you live from my beautiful back porch here because uh, of a crazy morning. So that that's fun. Hopefully, I don't have too much issues here with this, but. Um, but yeah, no, other than that, good morning. Should be in the office a little bit later and be able to get some some real solid work done. <laughs> awesome. 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 So what do we got going on today? Um, what do we got anything special about the the agency's trials are over? Yeah, yeah, but, they are done with. Big, big, man, that was a huge five-day workshop over last month we did. Um, and, and, you know, all you had to do is just complete the agency trials. Some people had fun with it. We had, I think, like 40 people, actually, that were on uh, the list in total. Awesome. Uh, but, yeah, um, do you want to tell them about how they can maybe still get in? Or do you want, you want me to yeah, do that? Yeah, so if you didn't make it through the agency trials, and I know there's some people out there that did it, right? There was, the agency trials were basically an SEO game, an SEO uh, treasure hunt, if you will, using clues and stuff. So some people just didn't have the time or couldn't get through it. Um, and, and we did, you know, we, we're we not completely shutting everybody else out. There is still going to be opportunities to be able to get access to Mike's five video um agency automation workshop um and you'll get some other things as well you're also going to get a, a sixth video um for uh inbound automating your inbound sales so actually six videos that we're going to give access to this month that'll build on what we did last month so this month's trick-or-treat it's halloween over here in the u.s um end of the month all month long Hashtag trick or treat, sharing the SEO vault while you do it. So we're gonna go and we're gonna look who shared the SEO vault with the hashtag trick or treat. Um, everybody that shares is getting access to the inbound sales automation. If we get over 100 shares by the fifth episode this month, by the end of the month, our last episode, which is on what the 29th, I think. 29th, I believe, is like that. If we get 100 shares, which we should, we're going to give everybody that shared access to the five video uh, automation workshop that Mike put together. So that's really cool. So what is it? The agency automation workshop? What is that? Just what do they got to do? Let's just tell them again what do they got to do. Oh. Let's reiterate. If they want Hashtag. To Hashtag trick or treat, T O T T, not T O T, trick or treat. Call <laughs> that out. Um, I guess we'll check the T O T just in case too, but I don't know if someone else is using that hashtag, so that might get difficult. <laughs> um, I'm sure the trick or actually, wait, trick or treat, that's going to be a hashtag. We didn't even think about that. We should change it to vault trick or treat. Well, it's it's too late now. We already made our announcement. Hashtag trick or treat. Okay, fine. We'll do we'll it. No, we should be able to find the video was shared. We'll yeah, we should be able to look at exactly. No, I'm just playing. Anyway, so yeah, share it. Hashtag trick or treat SEO vault. Tag other people to come in the comments. Tell them to share it. Hashtag just so you make sure you get it. They don't even have to be 
SEO people, right? I mean, we're not going to know the difference. Go get all your spam account. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't say that. <laughs> no, seriously, though, um, we want a lot of people to share and see the vault. And, uh, and if you know someone who owns an agency, is trying to build their agency up, uh, definitely tag them, let them know to share it because then they'll get access too. Uh, if you have other people in your company that you're going to, you know, want to get involved as well, have them share it. That's all fine. We really want the shares uh, and we want to give away this training more than anything. Now, did you, uh, it, it, by the way, if you do share also, Chaz, we're giving away your uh, inbound sales automation uh, yeah. webinar that you did. So just by sharing that, you're going to get the inbound sales automation, which was yeah. an awesome webinar Chaz did uh, with a full overview of everything. So share hashtag trick or treat with the vault. And uh, yeah, get, so get it's your not free too automation. Late to get in on those automation. And I'm telling you, when Mike set up this automation system, which I share, and then he goes over in super detailed in his workshop, it, it literally saved hours of time preparing client proposals, setting up client subscriptions and billing, um, even just the inbound process of how that works, integrating it all with our email automations. Like it literally saved us hours and hours of time. Um, it re Month over month renewals, you know, it, all it that follow up with client, yeah. <laughs> Sorry it's, to cut you off there. It's just a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 definitely a competitive advantage, right? If if other agencies are taking hours to put a proposal together, um, working on on these, and then some of, a lot of that's going to be wasted time and effort anyway, because you you have to get through your your red apples to get to your green apples. So a percentage, a big percentage of those proposals will never close into paying contracts and you're just wasting so much time and labor doing those when you can just compress it into very, I mean, we're compressing it so much um, that it's those savings alone over the course of your agency could add up hugely um, and just streamline the whole process, understand you can get through your red apple so much easier and everybody that's been in sales knows how important moving through your red apples are because it's literally the ratio you need to get to to close sales and you, you got to do them or you just won't you just won't have put in enough numbers to get the sales you want so um yeah with the automation in place really all you have to do is the human con like a phone call stuff the emails yeah. the follow-ups the proposal generation all that time is cut out and saved and you just have to look at your schedule every day and see who you're calling grab the slides, do your video presentation, sell them. Like it's all built in there. It's, yeah. it's everything, you know, yeah. it's so much time saved on it. <laughs> Get so. your competitive advantage, hashtag trick or treat and share the vault. You have all month to get a hundred shares. You get access to everything. After that, we are not, no guarantees on how you're getting access to this stuff. Cause you know, when we lock these courses back up, it's, it's, it could be months again till we open them up for somebody, and then there's going to be uh, some. You have to spend ten thousand dollars or five grand, you know, at Web Twenty I mean, just people, to get them. So this is to, people are selling this automation for five to ten thousand, like that automation oh, yeah. system done for you. Like it's literally like once you learn how to do that, you could resell that for five to ten to set it up for somebody else. Like that's what these go for, these automation systems. So you're getting access to valuable training and, and uh, you could just plug your team in and learn how to do it. So, And, and your you inbound automation training goes over a lot of the sales stuff in itself. And you get that just for sharing with the hashtag trick or treat. So yeah, we're, we're hyping it up a lot, but it's we are. giving away something like this for free <laughs> is something you just don't see. You know, like yeah. I said, like you can't, you can go and start talking to the other agencies in the groups. And if you could set this up for them completely, yeah, I've charged five to 10 grand for what the training tells you how to set up to take out all the, you know, extra time. So, all right. Um, yeah. So that, that's that. I guess we'll move on unless you want to talk about how awesome that automation no, training we, we spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> okay yeah so that's cool um the weekend update uh seo mad scientists we have some exact match brand tests coming out this week those were a lot of fun uh 
And uh, last week we did some GMB site tests. We're continuing with those. Uh, so yeah, be sure to watch out for the weekend update. You can sign up on the Web20 Ranker website. And now what else we got? We got some other updates, I think, going on at Web20 yes. Ranker. Yeah, a couple Web20. So Web20, we, we got uh, the, the proposal tool 2.0 is live in your dashboard. Um, it, it has a lot of expanded functionality uh, from the first issue. Um, you actually, we now import into the dashboard uh, a portal there where you can see all your templates, all your proposals. Uh, you can click right to them and edit them. Um, you can see everything that you put out there. Um, so version 2.0 is live. Um, take advantage of it. It's We can't do it all for you, but we can take what might be an hour or two hours putting a proposal together and boil it down to literally like a 15-minute process. Um, and you have access to the proposals. You can edit them. You can tweak them. Um, you know, let us know what else we can do to expand the functionality of it for you as well. And we will, we're continuing to build the proposal tool into some really cool things. Um, but version two is live in your dashboard uh, through Web20 Ranker, just it's SEO uh, reports.agency, go sign up, uh, it's free. Next, local client takeover, some cool stuff happening there. Um, one of the things is we just launched monthly entity signals, which is a new service, which combines all of the branding and foundation and, and the initial signals that you would normally create for a brand. Um, this includes your, their socials, their brand profiles, their citations, even up to and including the possibility of creating custom lists um, uh, for their location and their niche. So if you're located in San Francisco, we can get you San Francisco forums and San Francisco citations. But this is a monthly launch. Uh, for one week only, we're offering a crazy deal on these things. Head on over, check that out. Um, you'll save 20% on the campaigns for life if you sign up this week. It's all the entity, it's all the signal creation you need if you're doing local SEO. It's everything. It's your citation, social brand. It's just, and it's not everything at once either. It's if you have a client, if you have campaigns that are on budgets, this is a perfect thing. Every month we're going to come in and build a set list of signals, whether it's uh, 20 or 40, whatever you determine. We have a couple different package levels for the competitiveness and your budget that you're working with. So perfect complement for any of your client campaigns you're running. Um, monthly entity signals at localclienttakeover.com. Also at localclienttakeover.com, there's, if you go look at the courses, I added a new course. It is a locked course. And you guys stay tuned to the SEO vault over the next couple of weeks. You're going to learn more and more about what this is. Uh, the six figure agency course, it is literally going to show you all the systems inside uh, what we build it as into a six figure agency, the live systems that if you don't have these built for your agency, you can just literally plug and play them a lot of the times. And we'll show you over the view what it takes, what systems are being built um, to grow and scale uh, high six figures too. Um, and these, it's the foundation that'll get you to the seven figures, right? This, it's, you start at the six and get there, then you move in and, and build all your systems out. We're showing you all the systems from email systems um, to client reporting and follow up to inbound sales. We're showing everything um, over the shoulder. So that's coming and you'll see that, you will see the outline of that over at Local Client Takeover. So go check it out. So, nice. Yeah, it's exciting. It's been a while in the making, but we're, we're putting it together and we're, uh, we're, we're getting them out there. So you'll see over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have these things, uh, more and more of them. And then we'll let everybody know how to unlock that. So. Awesome. Very, very mysterious. Stay, stay tuned. Stay Mark. tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. What's going on in SEO news, Mike? I think that was it for my updates. All right. Yeah, SEO <laughs> news this week. Um, a lot of little stuff. Nothing really too big. Uh, some updates on the, the possible algo update and so on. 
Uh, first thing I wanted to mention is Ahrefs is, uh, they came out with a free web map, free webmaster tool. It's essentially a way for them to gather leads to get people to buy their software, let's be honest. Uh, but if you own the website, you can get your backlink data and other data from their uh, platform. And as a third party link platform that I use extensively, um, more than anything else, the Majestic or Moz or whatever else is out these days, uh, always seem to have the biggest database. Uh, I think it's a great resource. So definitely look into that, especially if you have clients, being able to have that uh, extra data that's scraped of links, especially because Web Search Council doesn't show you, you know, all the links that Google's crawling. So sometimes you could see other things in there. Uh, just a great resource. Uh, also, mid-October, Google Shopping, uh, they announced that they're doing fully free uh, around mid-October. Uh, they kind of compared the Google Shopping search to organic search in that uh, you don't have to pay to get in web search and now you won't have to pay to get in uh, shop, uh, shopping. So if you qualify as a retailer, sell products, um, you'll be able to list in there. Great opportunity for businesses, even greater opportunity uh, for SEOs because now essentially we have a whole market uh, a whole a whole area within e-commerce industry now where we can uh, optimize for essentially another search. I'm sure it's tied heavily into organic. I haven't done a lot of shopping search, uh, but one that does go free, definitely start looking into opportunities, even you know specific shopping SEO services that you could possibly sell. I know I'm going to be looking into it and seeing what we can do there. Uh, what else do we got? I know we've been talking about the recent Google Algo update. Uh, seeing some shifts the last couple weeks. Uh, and then I think last week, even a lot of major blogs reported uh, on things possibly going on. Uh, there appears to be some indexing issues, uh, maybe with Google. I've even seen some interesting indexing stuff, but uh, more importantly, Google recently asked to send them uh, some data about any canonical issues you might be seeing. So there's speculation that this might all just have to do with the canonical uh, error something like that causing indexation issues, who knows. So uh, may not actually be an official update, may just be Google dealing with technical support again. Uh, lastly, uh, Google My Business, we've already seen a little a bit of this on the front end. We announced, I think last month or a few weeks back uh, that you can access some metrics for Google My Business on the front end search of Google, uh, see up to, I think it was 66 months uh, of data, but Google did announce that there are additional metrics coming to the Google My Business platform uh, and specifically mentioned additional metrics involving search, possibly more information as where certain terms were showing, how they showed impressions, clicks, all the data that we get say in uh, Search Council that we would love to see in something like Google My Business. Uh, so that's it for the major news. We have one comment uh, from uh, John Mueller, someone had asked on Twitter about do they recheck uh, site maps that are submitted when you submit a URL to Google Webmasters to recrawl uh, or index. His answer was no, they just do that on a periodic schedule. Um, interesting answer because he did decide to leave out the fact that they obviously do go crawl that page and index it though if you submit it for indexing. So uh, why that has to do with the site map, I'm not sure, but <laughs> that's it for the news this week. Um, some cool stuff in there actually going on, at least I thought, um, especially with the Google update. Hope, hopefully that is just some technical issues. Uh, I don't know if you, what you've been seeing with that yourself, Chaz, or if you started digging into that more since last week. Yeah, just, uh, there, there is some, there is some reports of sites that are just, uh, going through flux. Um, we actually just dealt with some, I just dealt with something early this morning where somebody hit me up and said, hey, my site like lost a lot of positions and like I did a bunch of search and I was like, I'm not seeing it. And so what they actually, re, uh, <laughs> really weird, I have no idea why or what, um, <laughs> but they, they, uh, they turned their, they, they turned airplane mode on and off from their phone, got a different IP and they, they searched and it was back where it originally was. It, it's, it looks like Google's serving up maybe, who knows what's going on. It, it's it's interesting. There's definitely, we're seeing a lot of, and it's quick too. It could be like, you're searching and see one thing, I search right after you and I find something completely different, even though 
we're, we're using the same tools or whatever. It's very, very strange what's going on right now with their index issue um, um, and just ranking fluctuations. Um, definitely seems like some tests are happening or who knows. Um, but it's, I didn't see anything like drastically permanent. I just saw issues like weird, weird glitches, if you will, a glitch in the matrix maybe. Um, well, even yesterday, me and you were talking about that one client that experienced their homepage just being de-indexed yeah. and we couldn't figure it out. And that, that could be something that's resulting um, from an issue. You know, who, who knows if it's a canonical issue on the homepage of a site or whatever Google is experiencing. Um, the good news is, is hopefully that it's not an update, right? And hopefully Google will get to the bottom of it. The, the bad news is, is... Uh, you know, you're kind of dealing with just the craziness <laughs> at the moment. So, you know, keep your clients informed. That's the most important thing. Let them know about Google, Google literally asking webmasters for canonical issues this past week. Um, everyone seeing the fluctuations, weird indexing things. If, you know, home pages completely de-index, hopefully, uh, hopefully everything just works out uh, a little better. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yep. Sorry, I had to switch it. What are there? Uh, what do you think about the the free webmaster tools at Ahrefs? I looked at it and I was like, well, I mean, what's? I, I didn't see that it does anything if you're a paying subscriber. Like, I already pay for Ahrefs, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna. Okay, great. I, I don't know. Um, and I I read some some commentary about it different opinions and different positions where you know if you connect if you do the connection and even though you're not paying you still get at some insight where it could you know maybe make it a little bit more competitive for pay, people that are paying um it could make seo a little bit more competitive i doubt it's going to be huge either way um it does seem a lot like a nice lead magnet if you will um but I, I'm I'm I have no opinion on it to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean I don't I don't see it making anything more competitive just because it's data. Like just because you get access to their data about your website doesn't mean that you have a single clue what to do with it or how to do it well. So <laughs> just you know, it, it's definitely a good lead magnet. Um, what I really like about it is especially for the companies like a lot of the agencies that work with uh, Web Twenty. Uh, can access that data, say, for their agency, but you might not pay for that because you outsource, you know, anchor analysis to Web20 or link building to wherever or on page or so on. Um, so just having that resource, I think, especially for reporting, watching for possible issues coming up uh, for like campaign managers, uh, just like if you are, you know, outsourcing SEO um, and you have a, a Google Search Council set up, I do think it would be beneficial unless you have a paid account. If you have a paid account, it is it's virtually worthless. There's there's no benefit. Um, but I know a lot of agencies who don't have accounts to those tools, especially like when you look at things like Majestic or Moz or whatever new. I know there's new tools that I've seen coming out. Um, if it becomes more of a competitive space like that, they all might start offering kind of free webmaster. Uh, access and and it could even drive the industry to provide more value on that end uh, as well. So I think it's it's pretty cool um, for us. I, I I agree, it's pretty worthless. It doesn't really do <laughs> too much for us there. Um, so yeah, getting more info on GMB metrics though would definitely be that's an update I can look forward to if I could see maybe like where people were actually clicking on my searches, you know, per search term or things like that. I doubt Google's going to give us that much info, but um, I don't know. I know we've talked about that quite a bit, Chaz. Anyways, uh, do you have any other comments on the news? We can move on to this question real quick um, and uh, and wrap it up here. I think we got, uh, I, mean, I got one. There's not really, I mean, what, what we covered was, you know, I don't have anything else there. I would just say, um, if you're doing local for your clients, if you're an agency owner watching, um, some something I would look at incorporating into your agency if you haven't would be uh, 
Google guaranteed or Google screened management. Um, Ooh, I would definitely, oh yeah. like we're, we're doing that. We're getting our feet wet in that. We're, we're learning that um, right now in ours. And I'm telling you for like a lead source, it's really good. Um, it's, it's a little on the pricier side, but man, it make it, it, the phones do ring when you're getting in there. So, um, seeing the call volume that comes through that placement, having the local, local service ads, whether you're going through guaranteed or screened, you still get to local service ads. Um, like, and if you're not offering them as in your agency, I'd go, I'd go learn about them. Um, we're actually going to, I'm actually in the process of putting together some notes of what I learned as well. I'll make that available to the community. Um, but I would definitely say for your agency, look at incorporating that if you offer a holistic strategy to your clients. Um, I just see, man, I, it's, it's just sticking in my mind. Like every day I see the leads coming in. I'm like, man, that's, you know, more opportunity yeah. just like that shopping. But yeah, I mean, the shopping thing is just, you know, completely separate, but the Google guaranteed that that's yeah. a, an upsell right in, you know, right out the gate. You got a successful client right now. That's something you can go back in and, and really sell them. More. Say, Hey, we can get you even more lead volume. Um, the management fee uh, that we're charging is fairly small compared to like an SEO fee or like a real ad spend fee um, because there's not really anything to do to optimize them other than reviews and just a lot of the stuff you would normally do to optimize your GMB listing actually helps your placement, um, helps your placement in ads. Um, yeah, no, that's in the local good. service ads. Nice. So, um, that's kind of, you know, a little bit of freshness there for your agency. But other than that, I'm, I don't have anything else, Mike. What about you? No, I'm, I'm pretty good. I think we're actually running short on time, though. So maybe you want to skip the question uh, this week. Um, well, it's a got... good question. Well, I do have a hard stop, unfortunately, really soon. Um, I, it's a really good question. How about, how about this? How about we ask everyone to leave questions below, um, and we'll tell them the question, and we'll, we'll make sure we have some good stuff for them next week. We'll do this question on the next week's vault, uh, yeah. and we'll pick one from the comments below. Let's just read it, though. Let's, we, we have time. Yeah, to let's let them know what it is. Yeah, so on my website, I have two pages, my homepage and a blog post, competing for the same keyword. There is some canalization. My homepage is better ranked on this specific keyword. I want to improve my position on this keyword, and I'm thinking to create additional content. I cannot put this new content on my homepage, which is already quite stuffed with content. Therefore, I'm thinking to add this new content on my blog post. What would you recommend to maximize my ranking and remove this canalization? So a big question, something that we see a lot in local, right? We've worked, Mike oh, and I, wow. we've, we've seen this a lot. Um, different strategies you can use. It is a big answer. I do think we could probably do this answer for, probably talk about for 15 minutes or 20 maybe. Because um, yeah. there's, there's some depends there, right? There's going to be some depends. Yeah. Um, it, there's going to be some qualifiers, some depends, and we got to kind of explore those different options, right? So it's not, a, it's not a quick question, but it's definitely something in local marketing and local SEO that you run into a lot. Um, if I didn't have a hard stop, I would do it this call. Um, but unfortunately, I have a hard stop today. Um, so let's we... <laughs> Yeah, it is. Oh, my goodness. Um, it, oh, unbelievable today so far. <laughs> But that's good, right? That's good. Um, no, it's definitely good. So you want to just let's you want to close it? I'll I'll go ahead and close it, Mike. Or yeah, let's. I mean, first of all, remember, uh, put if you have any questions, put them below. We're gonna do this question that we just went over next week. We'll also, if we get some good questions, and I'm not sure they're all good, but make sure you get difficult questions, things you're struggling with. See whatever, put them in the comments, uh, and then share hashtag hashtag trick or treat. Um, get that, that free inbound sales automation training and tell your friends to share hashtag trick or treat um, and make sure that if we get at least 100 and everyone's going to get that full five, uh, five day workshop essentially was what it was uh, an hour a day automating your full agency front to back. So yeah, I think that's it then. 
Awesome. Everybody, thanks for tuning into the SEO Vault every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern in uh, local SEO community and the Web20 Ranker Facebook page. We also put replays on YouTube channel, Web20 Ranker. We also have a podcast. Go any of your any of your podcast platforms. We're on all of them. The SEO Vault, you can download us. Uh, thanks for watching. Any questions, uh, drop them for Mike and myself. Thanks, Mike. It was good having you. Yep. All right. We're out. See you next time. All right, Mike. Um, I got to jump off here and get ready for this other call. Yeah, I'm going to start um, getting help try and get away to the office, so I'll probably see you. All right. Okay. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, bye.